What's up guys, it's Evie. So today I'm just going to do a quick video showing you how to make your own highlighter slash face luminizer. And it's super simple, super easy. All you're going to need is your face moisturizer, whichever one you use is fine. I use the Garnier Moisture Rescue Gel Cream. Or you can also use um, a face primer. I use the e.l.f. face primer, minimal face primer. Looks like that. What I prefer to use is the Jessie's Girl eyeshadow in Sunset Boulevard. It's like a rose gold sort of pigment and it's really really nice on darker skin tones like myself. I'm not super dark, I'm tan, but you know what I mean. Um, not light. I think that if you're light skin you can still use this but maybe use a little bit less product. And also I'm going to use a MAC pigment in Stacked 2 which is like a goldy color. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take a little bit of this gold pigment and put some in the cap. You really don't need that much. Probably that much, if you can see how much is in there. It's really not a lot. The first method I'm going to do is pour some of my gold pigment in the cap. And also I'm going to pour some of the face primer in there. Now you can use whatever you want to mix it, um, a bobby pin or a q-tip, but if you use a q-tip, keep in mind that it's going to absorb a lot of the product itself, and you're not going to be left with a lot to put on your face. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to use a bobby pin just to mix it. So just mix it up. It gets real clumpy at first, so you just have to smooth it out. You could also use your finger. Finger, 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 finger. finger. So it's going to start to look like that consistency. I just keep mixing it up until the pigment is real smoothed out and there's no clumps. Make sure there's no little balls of, of pigment clumped up in the formula that you're making. So this is what it's going to end up looking like. The clear face primer mixed with the gold pigment, that's what it ends up looking like. So on one cheek I'm going to do the first formula which is the um, face primer with the gold pigment. I'm just going to dot it here and all I have on right now is some bronzer. I don't have any highlighter or anything. So I'm just going to dot it on like that. I'm going to put a lot on so you guys can see. So as you can see with the first formula it looks like that. And what I like about this is that since the primer is clear there's there's no gradation of color or like anything else that would get in the way of just the color of the pigment. So I'm just going to put more on so you guys can see. Hopefully you can. So that's what it looks like. It just gives you a super shimmery, luminous glow. So what I like about doing this first formulation is that since you're using a primer, it's going to feel super smooth and it feels like it smooths out your skin at the same time while you're getting highlighted because of the pigment. So that was my first suggestion of how to make your DIY highlighter. And what you can do is actually just pour the face primer in there and you can keep it for a good while and you'll having it as your own little DIY highlighter. So that way you can get, get more than one use out of it. But the second way to make your own highlighter is by using this Jessie's Girl eyeshadow. I've been in love with this eyeshadow for a very long time. It looks very pink, but then um, once it's on your skin as the highlight, it gets very gold as well. So it's uh, kind of a duochrome color. Like sometimes it looks gold, sometimes it looks pink. And again, the color is Sunset Boulevard, just so you guys no, if you want to go get it and I think it's only four dollars at the drugstore so what I'm gonna do again is just pour a bit out on my hand this time I'm just gonna get a bit of the moisturizer and you really just need like a little dab of the moisturizer you don't need a lot and just pat it onto the pigment and then swirl it around and as you can see it makes this really pretty like rose gold color And you can add more pigment or less pigment depending on your skin tone or, or your preference. So that is the color that it makes. And it's really luminous and shiny just like a highlighter. So now I'm going to go ahead and put it on this other side of my cheek so you guys can see what it looks like. Oh, I was about to drop everything. 
And again, I just have a little bit of bronzer. I have no highlight, nothing. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that on. And as you can see, it looks really pink. It almost looks like a cream blush in a way, but you have to blend it out so that it won't get so pink and it gets more gold. Basically, the more you blend it, the more it looks gold instead of pink. And also, if you have any kind of small brush um, for highlighting, you can also use that to mix it as well and to blend it on your face. But I prefer using my fingers uh, just because that's just my preference, really. So that's what that looks like. I don't know how well you can see, but... This one looks a lot better because I feel that the consistency of the pigment with the face primer, they mesh well. I feel like they mesh really well together. Um, the consistency of this is a lot lighter and as you can see it's a lot more sheeny. So depending on what kind of highlight you want is what you're going to use. If you want more of a obvious highlight with a good sturdy consistency, I would suggest you mix your pigment with the face primer. With your face primer to come out something like that. But if you like more of a sheeny consistency and less liquidy, like a little bit more watery, then I suggest you mix it with your moisturizer and that way you get a lot more sheen. It looks um, a lot more natural. It looks a little bit more natural on this side, I feel. I'm going to go to the window to see if you guys can see it um, better. Let's go. So I'm near the window so that you guys can see hopefully a little bit better. Um, so this is the side with the face primer. And this is the side with the Jessie Scurll pigment and my moisturizer. And hopefully you can tell the difference. And uh, that's it. Let me know if you're going to make your own uh, face, what do, why do I keep calling it a primer? Uh, uh, uh. So let me know in the comments below if you're going to try out my little DIY uh, highlighter, face highlighter thing. And also remember that you can put it down the bridge of your nose and on your chin, on your cupid's bow, and wherever you want to highlight. It's not just like strictly for your cheeks, you can use it anywhere, even on your brow bone. So I hope you enjoyed this DIY and I'll see you guys later. Bye!